more games on this. If you like your screaming kids with your Vegas trip, this is the place to be. everybody it's Jeff again with J&K stay in Vegas I got my coffee for where's my coffee where's my room for a summer 2022 tour of that place right back there it's circus circus now a lot of people um, really care for circus circus a lot of quirky things about it it is a very old casino but if you choose to stay here I'm gonna show you a whole tour of circus circus so you can be well informed of exactly where you want to go and in the casino, midway games, all that. Even though I got my coffee, it's a nice 82 degrees here in Vegas in the middle of September. So let's go check out Circus Circus, see what it's all about for summer 2022. All right, everybody, so we're on the opposite side of that front entrance. This is where it says airport shuttle pickup and drop off only, not Uber, not Lyft. In fact, if you look on the Lyft app, it says East Entrance, which is on the other side where the classic Circus Circus sign is. Let's go take a look. It's Circus Circus for 2022. Let's go take a look. You can see the West Tower elevators right there. So your registration is just right over here on the left hand side but we're gonna keep with our right hand side a vacation moment right in the works more about that later on the adventure dome so we're gonna keep with our right hand side over here is a souvenir shop and right here it's welcoming you to circus circus las vegas information signage right there as you can see right off the right is a sundry shop but this way over here is the the tour area you can see the signage there for the steakhouse and casino tower the signage there and you got a bar over here and right up to the left is where the Adventure Dome is. We're gonna go take a look at that in just a few minutes, but we're gonna keep to our right and keep going just like we've done on tradition on our j &K Summer 22 tours. There's the casino. Across the way is Big Top Eats. Got a little bit of everything in here. And pizza. If you want some pizza, you're gonna to have to come over here. I'll tell you why in a minute. But just coming back to where we came from, I know it's just a slight uh, turnoff for us. Had to hit this first, because it is on the right-hand side. That's where we just came from, where the second floor goes to the Adventure Dome. We'll get to that in a minute. But right over here is our food court. So there's DQ in here, pickup sticks, Popeyes, a few other places. Just right over here, your West Tower elevators. That's just right where we came from, from the main entrance. Big Top Eats, where we just were, it says open 24 hours. So that's a good choice. You want to get something late at night or early in the morning. But we got to find where our coffee is. You saw on the sign back there, there was a Starbucks. There are a couple other places, so let's go check this out. So the buffet is currently closed, but the one kind of famous thing here at Circus Circus is the Steakhouse. That's right down here. These elevators are only for 10 through 15. Casino tower over here is floors one through 10, and the fitness center is on the second floor. I've gotta go show you that, but that's gonna be towards the end of the video. You won't believe it. It's got another uh, snack place right over here on the left-hand side. Right over here is the steakhouse. It's very famous, pretty pricey, but it uh, gets really good reviews. As you can see here, all the Las Vegas Review Journal, awards here at circus circus i would definitely recommend the steakhouse but let's keep going down here a little boutique shop over here on the right hand side port some more here on the left a lot of t-shirts and stuff 
and Auntie Anne's is right here, and Krispy Kreme. So Krispy Kreme is obviously a place where you can get some coffee. So this Krispy Kreme is open 24 hours a day. So if you need some coffee, other than Starbucks, hit this Krispy Kreme right over here. But let's keep continuing our tour. The pizzeria is right over here on the left-hand side. It is currently not open, but let's keep going down this way. We'll take a look at the directional signage down here. We keep continuing to our right. Now check this out. Watch your step, moving platform. This actually moves in a circle. So if you want to uh, spin around and do your gambling, that's the place to do it. Some very unique things. Oh, so reminds me of Vegas Vacation. All the quirks of this property. We're gonna go upstairs in a little bit to check out the Adventure Dome and the Midway. But we're gonna keep with our right hand side here for now. Over here at these machines right over here, one of the very few coin operated slots still in business right over here. Hear all those coins? People actually wait to get their turn over here. Now if we keep to our right, walk away to slots of fun. I guess we better go do it and get this out of the way now. So Circus Circus, well specifically slots of fun, was famous for a dollar hot dog and a dollar beer. So check out this retroness here. This doesn't scream Vegas vacation. I think if people have never come to Vegas, they think this is what Vegas is like. This old school. Old lighting, old neon. So I was talking with a worker that was here and I asked him about the dollar hot dog and the dollar beer special. Apparently that went away with COVID and you can see it's all closed up. So no more special anymore. And this is the entirety of Slots of Fun. Las Vegas Strip is right out there. Let's keep continuing our tour of Circus Circus. Let's go back in. Kind of cool carpet with the, the cards on the floor. So this is where we're gonna head back in. But here we are. This is where the strip is. You can see the fountain blue being built there. And the outside of Slots of Fun. Not a lot of fun in there. It looks pretty darn depressing if you ask me. But here are one of the towers. That's the West Tower over there. They still have the manor here and one of the few remaining places to actually have an RV park here. Alright, so coming back inside, we'll head over to our right. So down here is like the famous Circus Circus entrance. The registration is clear on the opposite side of the property. So Uber and Lyft pick up here at this side. And if you look, it'll say east entrance so you won't be able to get it over by the quote-unquote main entrance where registration is so you'll need to come over here if you want uber or lyft players club is over here on the right hand side and you got part of the casino just down there so this area you have to be 21 and up to be in ironically they have signs everywhere uh, probably because they have a lot of kids that are here they got a bar back here and we can just start to see a peak of the midway up there and we're keeping on our right hand side midway land it says here so there is some more games on this if you like your screaming kids with your vegas trip this is the place to be if you have somebody in a wheelchair or a walker take the elevator or you can get pushed up this way. And this is separate from where the Adventure Dome is. This is a completely different area. So don't get that confused. But they got your classic ski ball, all sorts of carnival games. Again, if you'd like your screaming children with your Vegas trip, this is the place to be. So here's where some of the acts perform at. You can see some of the stage lighting that's already on. It says next show, 2.30. Yeah, it's got some classic arcade games, those big Space Invaders and Pac-Man ones. 
you can see where those steps are. So if you have some disabilities or somebody that has a hard time uh, walking, I would suggest using that other ramp right by that Modelo bar. Let's keep going. So it continues around just in a big circle. Midway Games opens at 11 a.m. Here are their operating hours. They do open at 10 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday. Let's head back downstairs and continue our tour. Get a layout of the land, that's the way to slots of fun. This is our coin operated machines over here. So we're going to double back kind of the same way we came from. So this way to the front entrance where we just were, you see the Uber rideshare and it says Starbucks that way, but we're gonna cut through the heart over here and come back because we already hit the right side. So that's the ramp we just went up and that midway land is right over there because in order to get to the Adventure Dome, there are a couple of shortcuts. I kind of have to go back the other way. And there's the Krispy Kreme where we came from. Let's head upstairs and check out the Adventure Dome. If you think of a typical old school Vegas casino, it is this place here. There are a lot of little twists and turns in here. All right, let's head upstairs. It says the Adventure Dome. Skyrise Manor, Starbucks, restaurants and pool. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this video, now would be a good time to hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up for J&K Stay in Vegas. All right, let's get back into the Circus Circus video here for 2022. All right, coming up here, see the signage for Starbucks down here. There's currently only one Starbucks. Down here to the left will connect you to the parking garage. So if you are driving in, there's kind of a convenient way to get in. It's just right over here. And they got this little Vegas manga shop. See the gelato place here. And West Tower and Hotel Lobby elevator access is down this hallway. So swinging around here, here is the Adventure Dome. But what is this? So I kid you not guys, if you've ever seen Vacation, oh my God. Sorry folks, Moose Outside should have told you. The Adventure Dome currently, as of the week of September 12th, is closed Monday through Thursday. They're doing some maintenance. You should have seen the looks on people's faces. The beginning of this video, you kind of overheard that conversation. Yeah. So if you came here with your kids expecting to go to the Adventure Dome, they're closed for four days this week. Not good. Very vacation moment for you here at Circus Circus. It's probably the one big draw to coming to Circus Circus is the Adventure Dome. So just in case they do this again, and you want to stay at Circus Circus, I would suggest you call beforehand and make sure that they aren't doing any kind of maintenance else you're going to have a very big sad trombone moment. All right, let's continue on the tour. So continuing on from the Adventure Dome that is currently closed, they have the blue iguana here. Twisted VR here. They have Lucky Mini Lanes here. Bowl today starting at $7 per game per person. So it's a little teeny bowling alley right here. And it's self-serve. So you just pay for it right here, touch the screen and, and uh, order up your little mini bowling lanes. The one lowly Starbucks is down here. It's actually a really nice Starbucks. Kind of out of place for uh, <laughs> Circus Circus. So this Starbucks behind me is open every morning at 6 a.m. and open till 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. On the weekends, it's open till 8 p.m. So if you want to get your Starbucks coffee, those are your hours currently as of September 2022. All right, let's keep going with the tour. All right, so just sweeping by here, the Starbucks and continuing on down. There is not much down here except for the skywalk to the manor and elevator to the Sky Rise Rooms RV Park. Yes, RV Park and pool. The other parking garage is down here as well. There's one small little store right over here. But your Sky Rise elevators are down here and the walkway to Manor RV Park and pool is right over here.
It is a long walk from the casino and the Adventure Dome to get over here. So just keep that in mind if you're going to the pool or the splash zone. So you can see the big slide there and the pool out here. Way at the back of the property. See the strat in the background there. But yeah, if you want to come to the pool here at Circus Circus, it is a little bit of a walk. And there's the Fountain Blue right over there being built. I think that's going to be just a little bit of a nicer property than Circus Circus. All right, let's finish up this tour here at Circus Circus. Let's see what else we can find. All right, so just coming around here from that walkway where the pool is and your Sky Rise elevators are right over here. There's only one other place that's down here, and these are the meeting rooms. So if you're unfortunate enough to have a meeting here at Circus Circus, those meeting rooms and banquet rooms are just right down there. But you can cut back over here to this little walkway. And then we're back over here at Starbucks. All right, so let's get back outside, wrap up this video with some final thoughts about Circus Circus here in summer 2022. Well, folks, that's gonna do it for me here at Circus Circus here in Las Vegas. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's one thing I can say that's good about Circus Circus, it's next to Resorts World. Yeah, that's a good thing about Circus Circus. But overall, everyone, if you're trying to save some money, plenty of other options right in the middle of the strip like Harris and Flamingo, especially if you get the rewards cards, you don't have to be at all the way at this end of the strip. This hotel is old. It's very old, showing its age. This is classic Vegas, but not in a classic good way. So anyway, folks, if you've enjoyed this video, nonetheless, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to J&K Stay in Vegas. Also, if you wanna be alerted to every time we post a new video just like this or go live like we do every Saturday night, ring that notification bell, turn on all those notifications, you'll be alerted to every time we post a new video. Until next time, as always, stay safe and stay silly. Bye-bye, everybody. So right in here is the fitness center. You come in through this main entrance over here. Fitness center open 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Currently nobody in there. So if you come down this hallway from the Adventure Dome area, this is technically the third floor of the West Tower. And you spin around. And can you say old Vegas here? Wow, look at these drapes. They've probably been here since 1960s, <laughs> at least the 70s. Yeah, I think those filters haven't been changed in a while.